This is Ignite Television News. I'm Elisa Piccarillo. Here's a look at tonight's top stories. If you think Ontario's minimum wage is too low, you can now have your voice heard. A public forum is being held tomorrow night at Hamilton Public Library's Central Branch on York Boulevard. Organizers say it's designed to let residents voice their opinions they couldn't share with a provincial panel that's looking into the issue. The panel is expected to make recommendations to the provincial government on the minimum wage later this month. It visited eight communities across Ontario, but did not make a stop in Hamilton. Ontario's cur current minimum wage is $10.25 an hour and hasn't been increased since 2010. Some advocates want it raised to $14 an hour. The RCMP has arrested a watered-down man in an alleged plot to sell classified information to China. Police allege the 53-year-old was trying to sell classified information to the Chinese involving Canada's shipbuilding procurement strategy. RCMP Chief Superintendent Jennifer Strachan says the man is charged with communicating with a foreign entity under the Security of Information Act. Strachan says sharing of information in these cases could give a foreign country a military or competitive advantage by knowing the specifications of vessels responsible for protecting Canadian sovereignty. The man appeared briefly in court today and will be back in court on Wednesday for a bail hearing. Demand is up, supply is down. That's the message of our Mission Services concerning its nutrition center. Mission Services in Hamilton in indicates there's been a 35% increase in people using its nutrition services compared to the same time last year. On average in the last six months, almost 2,000 people have been using the food bank each month. 600 of those are children. Mission Services says the sharp increase has resulted in a dangerously low supply of food. They're in immediate need of canned goods including pasta, sauce, canned meats, peanut butter, and cereals. The price of the pumps continues its roller coaster ride. Gas prices went up by just over four cents a liter overnight. The average price of the pumps in the Hamilton area is $1.28 a liter. The, Can the Canada Border Services Agency says the customs officer who was shot on the weekend remains in stable condition in the hospital. The agency issues a statement indicating Lori Bowak is on the road to recovery and surrounded by family. The agency says Peace Arch Crossing will remain closed northbound for entry into, into Canada until sometime tomorrow morning. The coroner's service has confirmed the 32-year-old 32, 32 Andrew Cruz from the Seattle area shot himself after shooting the customs officer. Some Hamiltonians who live in the downtown core may have been late for work this morning. About 40 apartment buildings had no power for about six hours overnight. Horizon Utilities says the outage that started just after midnight was caused by an underground distribution problem. Now on Ignite Sports. Hockey Canada will hold a news conference tomorrow afternoon to announce its selection for the 2014 World Junior Championship. Watch it live on ignitenews.ca. Leave Coach's Corner alone. Don Cherry made that plea during the weekly segment on Hockey Night in Canada on Saturday as he addressed the new NHL broadcast rights deal with Rogers Communications for the first time. The 79-year-old hockey personality says he hopes the iconic program will remain as it is, telling the audience, if you're number one, why would you fool around with that? Just two games in the NHL tonight. Last night, the Leafs beat the Boston Bruins 4-1, and Montreal extinguished the Oilers 4 0. In the NFL, the Buffalo Bills' playoff chances evaporated after they lost in overtime 34 31 to the Atlanta Falcons at the Rogers Center. Your Ignite TV weather forecast <laughs> Environment Canada says we can expect some unsettled conditions in the next few days. Tonight will be partly cloudy with the overnight low dropping to just below the freezing mark. Expect cloudy skies in the wake on the wake up tomorrow. There's a chance we could see some wet snow in the afternoon. Tomorrow's high temperature will only hit minus three degrees. It will improve slightly heading into the weekend. We'll see partly sunny skies and milder temperatures for both Saturday and Sunday. Outside our Ignite TV studios, it's currently one degree. Now you're up to date. For Ignite Television News, I'm Elisa Piccarillo.